Okay, looks like we got him. Come on, dummy. Okay, cool. And we got the kill. Nice. And welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. We are now on uh, stable release. Uh, all the videos you've seen up to this point, I pre-recorded uh, before Fun Pimps came out with stable. Uh, but we're gonna kinda, we're gonna go ahead and continue and keep this um, series going um, because the last several that I did w were on build 155, and I think we'll be okay. I don't think we're gonna run any problems. Well, at least I hope we don't. Um, so, if you guys enjoy the video, and if you do, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, and let's get started. Okay, so I just finished digging up my first tier two buried treasure quest. So we're going to grab that thing, and then we're going to head uh, to the trader. And i got a couple things to, to sell to the trader, some more ammo and stuff to make. And then after that, we'll probably hit some more POIs. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, so we got food, hop seed recipe. Nice, nice. That's all good stuff. Okay, here we go. Run, 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 run. <laughs> all right, sounds like somebody's like right on my tail here. Yeah, both of them are fast. Ah, shit! How did that happen? Hold still! Alright. That wasn't very graceful, but we got the job done. Is that easy? Yeah, that's easy. Okay, we also got another Zeke over here. Let's just finish them all off, get the XP. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but I uh, I read a book in the church in the last episode that I make lets me do 10% uh, more damage with scopes. So now um, we want to start using our crossbow a little bit more uh, with the scope. And I also put another, I, I leveled again overnight because I chopped up a bunch of wood. As you can see, I've got 100 spikes on my toolbar. And uh, I leveled again, and I put that point into, um, good gravy, give me your head, man. Uh, into shoot from the hip, which gives us better hip fire accuracy, and more importantly, reduces the slowdown when we try and reload by 20%. That's the bigger advantage to that skill, in my opinion. Though, shoot from the hip, you know, is nice, too, because you can't always aim. All right, come here, dude. All right, cool. Let's go uh, turn this into the trader now and see what rewards we get and what we can buy and sell, that sort of thing. And then, like I said, I'm going to make some more ammo. Do some stuff like that, and then we're gonna go hit some more POIs. I still need to go back to the church, the last church we did, and get. Am I going the right way? Yeah, and get the the rest of that stuff. Uh, but I just didn't get around to it because I wanted. To, I needed to replenish my spike, so I ended up mostly, you know, cutting wood for most of the night. I also made myself a uh, a level two fire axe because I only had a level one of those, so we have better durability now. Where is my spike? Spear, spears right here. I should probably keep this guy on my toolbar too, because we need to put him to use. He's going to be uh, more handy for us. If you guys haven't already noticed, uh, I started a new, what I'm currently calling a mini series, uh, Dead is Dead. And so basically, in that series, I'm playing Alpha 18 with one life on the hardest settings and with Horde Knight every night. So I basically made the game as about as hard as you can make it. And uh, that's been going pretty well. I've survived, uh, I've got six episodes out and I think I'm on like day five and I haven't died yet. Uh, so it's pretty interesting, you know, playing with that one life because, you know, you are, you, you are really, really careful with everything that you do and you have to really think things through and not take any unnecessary chances. Uh, so it's an interesting way to play the game for sure. So if you guys haven't checked that out, uh, do so, and let me know what you think. A lot of fun. All right, let's head on in here. 
I'm going to go ahead and actually eat uh, a food here because we need some stamina cap back anyway, and then I'll clear up a spot for us. Um, let's just, well, nah, we'll, we'll scrap it. Okay, so before we go talk to the trader, uh, we got some coal in here and I brought a little bit of nitrate. Uh, oh yeah, we want to make glue too. So uh, let's make the glue and then we'll put this in here and we'll make however much gunpowder we can. We'll put the rest of the coal back in there. Uh, we need a minute and 33, so that should be good for that. Oh, didn't I start that already? I don't know. I must have done something wrong. So we need a minute and 50. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So let's let that cook up. Uh, I think I'll put these extra bones in here, too. Um, now, do I have... Oh, we've got the hop seed. Let's read Let's read that. And that's nice. So we can start making beer. Um, let's take a look at... I don't know if I left any gunpowder in here or not. I did. Oh, awesome. Okay, cool. Uh, and paper in the whole nine yards. So we've got 350 bullet tips. We're doing pretty good on 7.62. I only use that really kind of in an emergency at this point. You know, our pistol is obviously our main weapon. So I think what we're going to do is let's grab these. Let's grab all of this stuff. Um, for 7.62 rounds, those take uh, three gunpowder per. And we've got uh, 350. So let's make... Uh, 30, let's make 30 more of these, and then the rest we're going to turn into 9 mil ammo. We can't make any of the hollow point stuff yet. So, yeah, okay. Cool. And then we'll put the rest of the, the brass in here. And the bullet tips we have okay so we have a few extra bullet tips too so we'll put those in there as well we'll come back and grab all that stuff uh on our way on our way back all right let's go turn this quest in and see what we get Take gratitude friend. first aid bandages or iron helmet a level one iron helmet mm, that's let's take the first aid bandages all right what you got for your inventory uh, i want to sell the diamonds so that gives me 900 coin ah shit you know what i forgot to bring my coin back with me or did or did i did we spend it all? I can't remember. All right. Uh, anything else I want to sell to the vendor? Probably not. Probably not. Okay, so you restock on day 22. What do you have for weapons? Let's take a look. Anything we might be interested in here? I don't think so. What about armor? No, nothing that we don't already really have. Okay, uh, how about Hidden Stash? Crippling Mod would be nice. Reflex Sight Mod would be nice for the AK. Uh, Art of Mining Vol... I don't know if I want to buy books. They're kind of expensive, at least for me at this point in the game. Uh, we yeah. Oh, Motorcycle Chassis. That's 6,000 coin. Wow, that'd be nice. Junk turret parts, structural brace mod. Yeah, okay. I'm not really seeing anything that's uh, that I think we absolutely have to have here. Flashlight. Yeah, the tools are the same. 4x4 four four truck accessories. That is so expensive. But, you know, eventually we'll, we'll have that kind of money to get stuff like that. I, I And I probably my strategy here is I probably will buy... I probably will buy all the vehicles that I need because uh, I just don't want to put points into intelligence in the, on this build. You know, this is going to be a an agility, full-on agility build, uh, and then, you know, maybe with some fortitude built in, too. Um, so we're just going to make our money and, and buy the stuff we need for our vehicles. That's that's the general plan, at least at this point. Um, a workbench for 4000 Yeah, I mean, I don't know. We, we're, we're doing fine just using the workbench here. So, I mean, having, you know, either one of these in green wouldn't be bad, but I think at this point, you know, that's that's more money than we want to spend. So, uh, Art of Mining, Volume 2. We already know that one anyway. Uh, Pistol Pete. Armor-piercing rounds do considerable more damage against armored targets. See, I don't know if this applies to only to PvP, though. 
We already know that recipe. Uh, thank you, kind sir. Oh, let's take the next quest. Uh, have any jobs? Okay, so he's got a, uh, she's got another tier one buried supplies, but I don't want to do another tier one. Um, we could do. Let's do a fetch. Let's try a tier two fetch. Godspeed. All right, so we got that going. Um, let's grab the glue and the gunpowder out of here. And since we got a little bit more gunpowder, let's do, whoops, let's do a little bit more 9mm ammo. We'll pull those out of there. So, yeah, that's going to actually take a, take a little while, isn't it? Um, okay, well, I'll come, I'll come back for that later, I guess. Uh... I'll come back for that later. Okay, where is this quest at now that we got to do? Fetch quest. Um, it is over this way. Okay, it's not very far from the house. In fact, oh shit, it's, <laughs> it's in the military bunker. That's going to be interesting. Okay, well, here's what I'm going to do then, guys. I'm going to go home, drop off all this stuff, and then I will meet you all at that military bunker. And uh, we'll do the quest and... Hopefully find some nice stuff in that place too, okay? So I'll be back in just a little while. Don't go away. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, as you can see, we have a, a drop. A really close by drop. I'm gonna guess it's probably somewhere right about here-ish, maybe. Um, so let's we're gonna go right for that. So we'll just keep the red marker there. Uh, I'm still uh, in the middle of doing a couple of things here, though. Uh, so let's get. Uh, well, actually, you know what? Let's just go for it now because I'm gonna have to come back and drop this inventory back off anyways before we go uh, do the quest. Okay, let's see what we got. Um, okay. All right, all good stuff. Pretty sure I have a, a spare pair of boots back at the base, uh, but we'll I'll take it back home and check, and if, if we do, then I'll just scrap this. All right, guys, we are here. So uh, now we just got to figure out how we're going to play this. Uh, we don't have... Like, uh, you know, doorways and stuff that we can try and funnel zombies into, because everything's really open here. So this is probably going to be, uh, as best as we can, you know, a pull, pull one at a time type of situation. Uh, what I think I will do, though, is we might make a little um, gauntlet uh, for the zombies uh, here. So what I think I'm going to do is we're going to do something similar to what we did uh, actually, here, I probably better start the quest first. Okay. Similar to... Oh, that was weird. It cleared all the grass away. <laughs> uh, similar to what we did in front of our base, where we um, make like a little row of spikes here for them to run through. So let's kind of get uh, that set up. The spikes are... Not really wanting to uh, place very easily there. Let's go one more this way. And then, uh, yeah, basically the idea is we run through here. And then we turn around quickly, like so, and don't run into the spikes ourselves and then set a spike in front of them and hopefully get them to run into it. Uh, I'm not sure how fast the military guys are. I don't think we've even taken one on yet. Um, so hopefully, you know, I'm faster than they are. Uh, at least enough to get in front of them, you know, to, to do that. Um, okay, so let's do this. Uh, we have... We've got to be really careful of these landmines, too. That's another advantage, though, is if the zombies do decide to come around, they might step on the mines, so... That's that's good. All right, let's very carefully go around this way. 
That is really weird that it removed the grass like that. Okay, so uh, I think two, I want to put... Oh, you know what else let's do? Let's... Let's go ahead and put this down right here. So we'll have our turret uh, working for us too. Okay. All right, let's do this. So we got the spikes on four. Um, oh, yeah, let's get our shotgun back down here. And let's also get uh, Grandpa's Moonshine down here in case things go really bad for us. I don't think I'm going to hang on to that paper just because we need all the space we can get. Okay, so anybody over here in the ditch? Yeah, we got an infected, infected guy there. So let's deal with him first. Careful that we don't step on the landmines. Are we loaded? Yeah. I probably I set that spike too soon. If you set it too soon, he's going to turn around and go the other way. So you have to have to kind of time this just right. But the junk turret did the job for us. Anyway, so all good there. Um, let's replenish our spikes, too. I've got lots of wood, so... I want to, from this point forward, try and keep about 100 on our toolbar at all times, because we're, we're going to use them a lot, at least for now. When we get into the late game and we're just, you know, kicking ass and taking names at that point, I don't think we'll be spiking as much, but we still need to at this point, because we're only level 15. All right, um, so no Zeke's in the ditch... And what we have to get to is down below. So that's interesting. I didn't realize this place had... Oh, I'll bet you it's down in that pit where there's also probably a whole shitload of nasty zombies too. All right, let's get this guy. Oh, <laughs> Okay. Well, hey, if the turret's going to do the job for us, I get the XP, so I'm not going to complain. I am not going to complain about that. All right. Cool. Really liking that junk turret, man. I'll tell you what. It's good stuff. All right. So now we've got a military guy here. Let's turn our light off, too, by the way. The question with this guy is, can I hit him without hitting the post? I guess we're going to find out in a second, huh? It looks like we got him. Come on, dummy. Okay, cool. And we got the kill. Nice. As opposed to the spikes. That worked out pretty well. Okay, cool. Let's do this again. So anybody else in here? Oh, that's loud. Oh, by the way, I completely forgot to mention to you guys, but you've probably already noticed, uh, that I got the um, the uh, SMX uh, GUI mod installed. So if you're not familiar with that, you basically it changes the HUD so you can see your food and your water, your temperature, your XP level, all that kind of stuff uh, on on the, uh, the HUD itself. So it's a really nice mod, SMX mod. It's been around for a long time. And so I installed that. So it doesn't, you know, it doesn't make the game any easier or cheaty or anything like that. It just make, gives you better information. So, yeah, that's cool. All right. 
Um, let's focus on getting the, the satchel first, and then uh, we'll... Whoa. That's weird. And then we'll uh, loot the rest of the place after we have the satchel in hand. Yowzers. We want to be careful of this kind of stuff because it will... Um, it will actually alert the Zeeks to our presence. It's like a little trigger thing. There's a lot of body bags and stuff we could harvest in here for um, bones and all that, too. And nitrate? Takes a long time to do it with the knife, though. What about uh, using the axe? Oh, much better. Yeah, shoot. So this might, I might uh, off camera harvest all of this stuff up. That would give us a really nice supply of bones and fat and plastic too. Cool. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Um, let's go ahead and put our shotgun back here so we have that also as an emergency weapon. Because I think we're going to, we might have some zombies pop out of this, these piles here. Yeah, there's burners in here. And burners are pretty damn fast. They're weak, but they're fast. So, let's go ahead and get this one. Uh, what are we on? Okay, here we go. Got the attention of another one? Come at me, bro! <laughs> Spikes got that one. That's okay, though. We'll let the spikes get a few now and then. The more important thing is that we're staying alive. So that alerted uh, two burners... There's another one. Was that one there before? I don't know. I don't. I didn't see him, but I wasn't really looking either, so he might have been. Oh. <laughs> Let's see if we can just kill him like that. Okay. We should be able to handle one at a time as long as it doesn't alert any other ones. Okay, do we have any more burners down here? Not that I can see. Okay. There's our satchel right there. That is a lot of resources right there, you guys. Bones, nitrate, fat, and plastic. I'm definitely going to hit that up uh, off camera and harvest all that stuff. And we can get cloth from the tent. There's a lot of good stuff here. Okay, so we have accomplished the quest part, but since we're here... Oh my god, that's loud. Since we're here, let's go ahead and keep looting... And uh, see what we can get out of here. Very, very ha happy to have the silencer on this weapon because that makes a big difference. For sure. Okay, let's pop this guy. We're, yeah, we got to load here. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's what I like to see. All right, let's make sure there's no no other ones like really close to this tower, and then we're we're gonna crawl up into this tower and see what's up there. Nope, doesn't look like there's anybody in the immediate vicinity. We've got something down here too. Ah, well, we might as well scrap it. Oh! 
I thought we killed him. It's a good thing he, he made noise or <laughs> he would come around and whacked us. All right, what do we got in the weapons bag? Um, power tool, small tank mod. Nice. Okay. Um, so we will take that. We will scrap this. We're going to scrap that. And we're going to scrap that. And we'll take the ammo. Increases tank size by 50% for chainsaws and augers. Okay, cool. That's going to come in handy when the time comes. For sure. All right, let's just work our way kind of around the perimeter, and then we'll hit the main building after we do that. So we'll avoid stepping on that stuff. Anybody else around here? Is there anybody inside of here? Not that I can see. Door is unlocked. There's a bag in there. You know what? Actually, let's clear the moat first. We'll hit the other tower, and then we'll go to the central building. That's the plan, Stan. Love this silencer. Because if this was just a normal unsilenced pistol, we'd be alerting these guys left and right. So I'm I'm really enjoying the stealth build. I gotta say it's uh it's been a lot of fun. Is that a nurse Nancy? I think it is. All right, let's show. Let's send her some uh little nursey love with a crossbow bolt here. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. We'll uh, work our way around to the front of the moat here. And make sure we finish clearing out all the Zeeks on the outside. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, as far as the moat goes. So let's check this tower. That is really loud. Okay. I was just looking to see if there's something buried under this tower. Oh shit, that scared me. Having trouble getting a headshot off on him. There we go. All right. So nothing up here, huh? Other than trash. Okay. I'm not going to worry about that because... All right. So there's no exit out the back of that building. So we can funnel any Zeeks through the doorway. I keep stepping on that stuff. I don't think it matters at this point, though, because we've uh, all but cleared this place now. All right, that door is unlocked, so let's open it up. I do want to uh, get rid of this. Okay. All right. Oh, shit, they're out. All right, let's do this. Ah, oh, shit, she's through. She's really fast. They're all really fast. Okay, time to get out the emergency weapon. Shut up, timer! Worst time ever for you to be going off. 
He's feral too. Woo! <laughs> Frickin' Tyro. Oh man, I hope we don't get repops because I got so far away. That was rough. That was rough. We don't have to worry about it for the quest, of course, but... Um, let me double check that. Yeah, return to trader. Okay, so we're good on that. We took a couple pops, so let's, um, let's top off with a smaller bandage. We'll keep the bigger one for, like, serious emergencies. We don't need that crap in our inventory. All right, did that clear everybody out of here? Looks like it did. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Let's see what we got. Nice, we got a hunting rifle. I don't, do we already have a hunting rifle? I can't remember. Iron gloves and knuckles. What are we wearing for gloves? Oh, we're, we're wearing um, uh, level two gloves. Okay, cool. All right, hunting rifle's kind of cool. If we got, uh, we could take the scope off the crossbow and put it on there, but I don't know. I, I want to keep the crossbow though, because crossbow is a silent weapon and we need that. Faux show. Ten of chrysanthemums, huh? Just loot all this stuff here real quick. That scrap. You know, I'm not going to take 10 chrysanthemums or glass jars with us just because uh, space is at a premium here. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything. Oh, we've got a bookcase. What do we have here? Stun uh, baton schematic. We already know that, so we're just going to sell it. Uh, I guess I'll take 15 paper for shoddy shells. Anything up here? Nope. All right, I guess that's it. Is that something back in there? Oh, it's the barrel <laughs> sticking through the wall. Um, that's it for in here. Oh, we do have one more supply up here. All right, that gave us our bandage back. Now we just have the one. We just have the one. Um, back backpack, yeah, a sports bag back here. Ski goggles. That gives us agility. Um, what are we wearing right now? We're wearing lucky goggles, which gives us a loot bonus and reduces our buried treasure radius. You know, I think I'm, even though we are an agility build, I think I'm going to keep the lucky goggles. I'll, I'll keep the other ones too. Uh, we might wear them later at some point, but uh, we'll keep those for now. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this episode. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay here and use my axe and harvest all of these body bags because that's going to give us a bunch of bones, fat, plastic, and nitrate. So I think it'll be worth it while this place is clear. I'll probably pull all the cloth off that tent too and just get some resources and then I'll take all that stuff back home. Um, and then we got to go turn into the trader. You know what, though? Maybe we should turn into the trader first while we still can, and then I'll come back here later, because this isn't going to repop immediately. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So let me just run to the trader really quick to turn in. Whoa, don't run over the landmines. Pay attention, old guy. Um, I will bring you back when we get there just to show you what we got for the reward, and then we'll end the episode. Okay, guys, let's take a look and see what we get for this quest. Here you go, friend. A steel Whatever fire axe. Just uh, yes, word. please. I will take that. Don't need the leather hood. And what else we get? Uh, 3,750 XP and 940 dukes. Very nice. All right, let's take a, the next job. Uh, we'll do another fetch. The closest one. Really, it's rare to find and then let's just times. sell a couple of things. Uh, to her, him, him, her. Uh, was there something else in here I was going to sell? Can't remember. I think we'll keep the iron. Oh yeah, I was going to sell this. I'll, I'll keep the iron fire axe just as a backup, weapon, backup axe at the base. 
Um, but we're going to take the mod off of it and put it onto the Steel Fire Axe. Because this does uh, 50 block damage, this does 82 block damage. So that's a nice little upgrade for us. Thank you, okay, survivor. I think we're done here. All right, guys, soon. thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And uh, share out the video and leave a comment. Those things do help, and I do appreciate it. And uh, we will catch you in the next episode. I'm going to go harvest up all those body bags. All right, talk to you later. Bye.